May 1890. As Cuba seeks its independence from Spain, tensions grow between the United States and the Spanish Empire. The U.S. fully supports a free and independent Cuba, sending humanitarian aid for their angering the Spanish. In an effort to become a force to be reckoned with, the United States Navy pours millions into new technologies, training, and ships as war with a global superpower seems inevitable. What is up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. My name is Evil One. Before we get into it, please remember to hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job and you are, you are enjoying this content. Tensions have increased with the Spanish Empire. Let's take a look at our politics tab. Right here we have the British Empire and looks like uh, they're not too happy with the Hungarians. France, they're not too happy with Germany or the Hungarians. Uh, let's see anything else to note. The Russian Empire. Hungarians are not doing so well. They're ticking a lot of people off. Looks like the Chinese Empire and Japan are still going at it. Tensions are about the same. And then here is us. And the Spanish Empire, negative 75, still not much has really changed here. The big thing that has changed is our finances. As you can see here, I had to lower down our crew training and our tech budget. And that's just barely getting us. Uh, we're not even quite there yet. Let's, there we go. Oh, we want to be in the plus just a little bit. There we go. We had 45 there and 37. Keeping this at uh, a full 127% for the transport capacity. And of course, we are still building our big shipyards. We had kind of got in trouble. The federal government had to bail the Navy out a little bit. We did go over budget quite a bit. Take a look at our research. We're now researching engines, hull strengthening, and the uh, underwater acoustics. So actually, that one just finished. Let's... Put that one elsewhere. Let's drop this into the big guns. I'll start researching some of these bigger guns, a little bit more efficient. I was thinking about doing the fire control so we can actually hit what we're aiming at. Ship design, we do have a new mobile class light cruiser. I just designed this thing is kind of uh, kind of crazy. A little bit smaller than the Duluth class. A little bit cheaper, a little bit lighter, a little bit faster. Go take a look at it really quick. As you can see here, the the distinguishing feature of this particular light cruiser is the amount of smokestacks. We got 128% engine efficiency, and actually we could probably speed that up a little bit. Uh, we'd have to refit it. Actually, let's see if we can do that. We're just gonna bump this up just a smidgen. There we go. Right. Oh, my goal for this cruiser. Save that design is to be an extremely fast, uh, agile, very powerful uh, light cruiser that can scream up onto the battleships, pepper them with their five inch guns, and then launch torpedoes. So let's take a look at the overview of this ship. So it is the light cruiser, mobile design, displacing 1800 tons. Cost is $5.5 million, nine months to build it. Maintenance is pretty low at just, just under 200,000. Top speed of just under 20 knots. And it boasts five 5 inch by 37 inch guns. That's inch 37 inch. Four 3 inch guns and eight underwater torpedo tubes. We got uh, six along the sides here. And then bow and stern. Is it six or two? I don't really remember. They're they're down below the surface there. But yeah. This thing should be a rocket ship compared to anything else out there on the seas. So let's go take a look at our fleet. Alright, so there's our refitted mobile. Let's go take a look at our fleet really quick. Because we did have to suspend some of the building to make budget. We currently have at sea the battleship Evil. We have the cruiser Duluth, the Juno, and the Brooklyn. 
Under construction, we have uh, the Evil Class battleship being built in Miami. We have two of those. We did suspend uh, the one here, the Rhode Island, and the one being built, the Delaware and Norfolk, and the same with the Indiana. The battleship Arkansas and Portland was also suspended. What wasn't suspended was the... The Duluth class uh, light cruiser, Salt Lake in Boston. So these ones here are still being built. This one got suspended. That one got suspended. Then, of course, we are building some here on the west, uh, the west coast, to try and defend that side. These are that new cruiser we just talked about. Submarines, of course, there's nothing there. Okay, so let's go to the world map here and see what we can do. I'm not sure exactly what we can do. Kind of want to get involved into the Cuban uh, issue down here. Their war for independence, as it were, from the Spanish Empire. You can see here we have a large naval fleet out here of the Spanish going up with the uh, British. Let's check that really quick. Are they... How's their relationship? Their relationship is kind of middle of the road so not really angry at each other not really uh happy with each other so this is the world as we see it so far lots of ships everywhere lots going on we don't have much but we are working towards projecting our power across the globe and we're going to start right in our front door so i would like to Get a little bit more involved here thinking we're going to like to attack this port i know we're not at war yet we'll put them into that port anyway and see what happens let's go yeah see I, i'm not sure exactly how to like attack them let's we're gonna tick them off a little bit let's go to politics here let's go find the Spanish Empire, and we're going to increase the tension. <laughs> okay, and now let's hit the next turn. Relations with the Spanish Empire have deteriorated after your personal provocations, which seem to have mixed effort on our own people. Got plus one unrest. They, uh, the United States people, the American people, did not like us poking that bear. So we got minus nine with the Spanish Empire, minus two naval prestige. I'm not even sure exactly what that is, but we got minus 31. And then plus one unrest. Uh, here we got a battle uh, between the Ottoman Empire and the Arabia. And we are now in June 1890. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly if I hover my mouse over the naval prestige. It doesn't really tell me anything. Unrest is 1.5. That's not good. I definitely don't want the American people angry with us. I'd like to get into a fight. Just looking at this little task force right here. Got one cruiser, uh, one light cruiser, and two torpedo boats. And they are heading for the Caribbean. Looks like they're heading down this direction. I would kind of like to maybe see if I can get into a fight with them. Let's check our politics really quick. Way at the bottom. Yeah, negative 84 so far. And like I say, I'm not too sure how I'm going to get into a fight with them. Let's check our finances. We are plus 1 million. So that's good. We are going to can resume maybe one of these. Or one of these down here. There we go. Get another ship coming. Researches, everything is still good there. Okay. I guess the only thing to do is hit the next turn button, see what happens. Spanish Empire warns their head admiralty, this guy, for his excessive naval expenditures. He may soon be replaced if he is continued to underperform. So they're spending a lot. 
Uh, Romania signed a special alliance trade agreement with the United States. We have a trade agreement with Romania. That is awesome. We have the enhanced economy via trade and shared oil resources. Romania's ports can be used as supply centers. And we can sell warships to Romania. Can utilize ships of Romania during war. That's good. Uh, they would like to order one of the evil class battleship. They will pay 25% in advance, totaling $8.7 million. And the rest of the amount will be paid upon delivery after 13 months, providing a total profit of 105%. Ooh, yes. Let's do that. Okay, the British Empire, uh, uh, they attacked Morocco, causing major damage uh, against France, German Empire, and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Here we have their losses. Okay. So they want... I wonder if there is a way we can see exactly... Uh, they want one of these evil class ships. We can probably... Can we sell one directly from here? I don't want to sell our flagship. That'd be bad. I guess we have to wait for it to be built, maybe, and then we can give it to them. Or do we have to build one? Oh. Oh, here we go. Right here. So here we're just going to... Uh, wrap it. Yep, there we go. So, yay. That is right there. 13 months to build it. It's the battleship Massachusetts. Perfect. Hopefully they uh, get that ship soon and we get paid. Let's check our finances. We are now negative 1.3 million in the hole. That's not good. Let's go back to our fleet. We may need to suspend one of these yet again. I would really like to get some more battleships though. So I'm actually going to go here again. We're going to lower down our crew training just temporarily. Uh, we are very disrespected. That is not good. Politics, let's take a look at that. The British Empire, GDP of $30 trillion. They're doing really well. They have... A significant fleet. And uh, there's the relationships. Let's go check out us. I'll see if there's anything that's popping for me. Yeah. Just us right here. GDP of 13 trillion. We have a very small ship. Or a very small fleet. So yeah. Not... Too great of a start so far, but we are moving forward. Let's. Oh, I would like. To, I want to get into a fight so bad. <laughs> Let's keep sailing. And next turn. Venezuela. They're with the Spanish Empire now. Ooh, the Italian Empire. Provoked us. Okay. There's a, another battle. I want a battle. Politics. Take a look here again. Looks like Hungary is uh, not doing so well with the British Empire. China and Japan are still at each other's throats. Yeah. They're not doing so well. And the United States. Apparently Italy is like yeah they don't th i don't know why what we did to tick them off take a look at our finances yet again um we are now plus so we'll bump up our crew training yet again bring that right back up the ottoman empire has signed a special trade agreement with the united states yay but aren't isn't the Ottoman Empire at war with the most powerful navy on the on the oceans? I think they are. 
We're allied with Chile. I don't think one of these flags is a minor uh, ally, the Ottomans. So... But they're not at war with anybody, so that's good. We got uh, both of these now. So hopefully our trade actually goes up. We got $3 million. Let's crank up our tr crew training just a little bit. We'll bring it right up to like 50%. There we go. And let's go to our fleet. And we will build. Yeah, let's resume this one here. Now it's going to pull our finances right down. But should be all right. I think we'll be okay. Research, again, big guns are coming up. That's about it. Nothing really has changed. Ship design, fleet, everything else is exactly the same. Hmm. All right, well, let's go into October and see what happens. New technology and big guns. We got the Mark II nine-inch guns. Yeah, so the Marks, I didn't really talk about that in the first episode. Uh, it's basically just a more efficient version of anything. Guns of previous technology are replaced by the newest Mark II nine-inch guns. Yay. Politics, check that. See, again, not a lot is changing very quickly here. Check out ours. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to really poke that bear again. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to increase attention yet again. Probably not the wisest idea, but we are in the black, so that's good. Research. Let's take that off big guns. Let's do let's do the fire control because I know early on, early game, uh, we're not going to be able to hit much anyway. So we need to get that going as well. Take a look at our fleet. Nothing should have changed. How's our ship for Romania coming along? We got 10 months to go on it. All right, let's head into November. German Empire has provoked us. Nice. All right, we got more unrest, but we got negative 10 with the Spanish Empire. Orders change. Arabia has defeated the remnants of the Ottoman Empire's forces and gained the full control of Hajiz. He has. He jazz. Not sure how to pronounce that. There we go. There's that battle that's raging between the British Empire, Morocco. Um, ooh, yeah. All these other countries going at it. Okay. Where is Hajiz at? That's interesting. You know, and I haven't been paying attention to the log down here either. So you can see that, like, people are discovering different technologies. And, like, lighter boilers. That's great for them. I think we already got that. Bash Empire sold one ship. Can I expand that out? I can't. L1, L that one, to Venezuela. But yeah, quite a bit going on. Uh, I wanted to find out where that Hajiz had, has, yeah, that one that I was having a hard time with. The Ottoman Empire. So this is the Ottoman Empire, this area. But I'm not seeing that. I don't remember who took it over. <laughs> so... Yeah, my, my knowledge of this part of the world is not that great. I know the Middle East only because I spent some time in this particular region uh, in my early 20s. Been all over Europe and, of course, the United States and the South Pacific. So, I've somehow avoided... Uh, most of like this area. I have actually been to Norway, but this area I am not familiar with at all. Anyway, let's take a look at our politics. We're at negative ninety-four with the United with uh, Spain now, so that's 
that's actually looking pretty good for our war. We are one one million dollars in the black. We're gonna let that actually build up a little bit. Get our naval funds up. Well, we have quite a bit of naval funds, don't we? Let's look at our research. Seven months to go, four months there. We got engines running. We definitely want to keep something in the engines. I think we have to wait for time on that. Like we're not gonna get anything. We're not gonna get like nuclear powered engines before, you know, nineteen. 70s, 60s. The game doesn't go that far anyway. Okay. We have to be like really close to war. How do I take this ship, take this fleet, and just pummel the crap out, <laughs> out of Cuba here? I want to go right to Havana and just massacre them. Well, not, I don't want to massacre the people. I want to massacre the Navy. I want to take over this province. I want Cuba to be mine. Then I want to come down here and do the same thing to Puerto Rico. Then I want to come over here and kick them out of here. Oh, there's the Canadians. Be nice if they would uh, partner with us or ship trade the Ottoman Empire. Would like to order two the mobile class light cruisers. They will pay twenty five percent. It's a profit of eighty one percent. Okay, fine. <laughs> Chief Admiral uh, France to strengthen relationships with the United States were successful. Nice. Our Relationships with France have gone up. Defeat the British Empire failed to gain control of Morocco. Oh, they're fighting down in Morocco. Down over here, isn't it? This is Morocco. No, that's Madagascar. Uh, Morocco, 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 Morocco. This, this. Uh, zoomed in too much. Morocco. There we go. But they're battling it out here. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's check our politics. Minus 94. France, we're heading up there. Finances, we're in the hole a little bit, but we can be in the hole for a little bit. Research. Not much has changed. Thinking about moving that out. Let's do that. Until we get a time limit on the next thing, maybe. I think that's how that works. Fleet. Ooh, commissioning in one month. Nice. We're getting some more ships. That's very good. So that means I'm going to poke the bear one more time. Okay, this Spanish Empire has threatened us with war. How should we respond? Our patience is over. We must reply that we will solve our problems in the war field. Although it's cowardice from our side, we must comply as we cannot fight against the Spanish Empire at this time period. Ha <laughs> ha. We're going to war. Some of our industrialists want to invest in the modernization of the Italian Empire's shipyards. What is your opinion? Well, they just provoked us. We get a big boost to our naval funds if we say it would be better to modernize our own shipbuilding. We lose a little G GDP. Our naval prestige goes up. However, if we say any cooperation should be mutually beneficial, we should also call the Italian, business, the, the Italian Empire's businessmen to invest in our shipbuilding. That'll give us a little bit of GDP. Our naval budget percentage will bump, and we get a little bit improvement with the Italians. Or unacceptable in our view of the fact that the uh, Italian Empire is one of our main rivals at sea. We get a bunch of prestige. We get a bunch of unrest. We lose a lot of unrest, and our relations with the Italian Empire go away. I'm going to say it's this one. We're going to go with that one. France warns their head of admiralty, uh, yeah, him, uh, he's been spending too much money. Okay, war has erupted between the United States and the Spanish Empire. Uh, we've lost a little bit with uh, the British Empire. Uh, France, yeah. All kind of even. 
I think these are just are they, are these changes? I think these are changes. Like did that go up eleven? Let's find out. Yeah. Got a little bit of unrest. Looks like our unrest is six point eight. That's not good. Yeah, Zaire has def defeated the remnants of the Belgian forces and gained the full control of Congo Free State. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look at our politics. Go back up to the top. So yeah, that was plus. That was a change. So um, the Germans, they don't like us so much anymore. Uh, Hungary doesn't like us, and or like them. This isn't us. This is British. <laughs> so let's go check out ours. We are down here. Yeah, our, our relationships have improved. We are now at war with uh, the Spanish finances. Now we're getting a huge boost to our budget. And the reason why is because we are at war. So we're going to boost our, our uh, things right back up again. We're going to pour a bunch of money into that. Let's actually drop. Well, yeah, let's keep it like that. Ship design. I'll do research first. Yep. Fleet. There we go. We got some ships that were uh, commissioned already. Let us get these ones going. Okay, so now we don't have anything suspended. And everything is being built, has been built, or is currently at sea. Perfect. World. Let's get into a fight. I want... Close. I want this... How do I take it? Do they have any ships nearby? Invade. Select. Close. Just not seeing it. There's got to be something. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay, and that's all we can do because that's, well, let's see. Uh, our fleet, we have these. Where are these at? Boston, Tampa, ships in Portland, Seattle, Boston, San Diego, and San Francisco. We're going to leave those except for the, a couple of these. Uh, we'll take the Baltimore and the Oakland out of Tampa. Okay, there we go. We'll take the Baltimore and the Oakland. Move them out to sea. There we go. Perfect. All right. New technology and hull strengthening. Yay. We have a new battleship hull design. Ooh, convoy. That's This is new. This is new. Okay. We'll be right back with that. Let's take a look at our politics. See if anything has changed. Uh, right here. Nothing's changed. Perfect. Finances. Still in the hole, but we still got a bunch of money. Research. I'm thinking that we're going to take that out of there and put it there. World. So what is this convoy? I guess we... Yeah. We're going after that convoy. I want to invade Cuba. <laughs> I guess next turn. We have more enemies lurking for a chance to enter the war against us. As it seems the press in their countries is 100% against us. Wow. Okay. So we got more guns. Bennett, they're trying to go after Nicaragua. Oh. Nice. Okay. So what was that all about? How do I... Attack. Trust me, guys, if I could figure out how to get into a naval battle, I would in a heartbeat. What is that? They have some ships here. Two cruisers and four light cruisers. Thinking we should go pick a fight. Let's take down here. Gosh, I really want to get into a fight. Okay, next turn, I guess. Yay. 
We got torpedo hole torpedo bolt holes can be constructed larger. That's awesome. All right, we have the coincidence rangefinder one. Uh, this is a new type of rangefinder that will increase our aiming speed and accuracy. Adds a little bit of weight. Yeah, just weight cost. We got the Mark II two-inch guns. Yay! Spanish Empire lost three transport ships in the sea region. Okay, so there they are. Let's can we get them? What is what is that? And we enter war with them. We're there. Looks like they're trying to go around the backside of Puerto Rico. Southern side there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a ship here too. What is that? I would like to like actually go to war. Okay. I'm going to figure this out. Okay, I went through the help section uh, a little bit here. And did some other reading and video watching. And apparently... Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Especially if we don't actually get into a battle. Since we are at war, we have the opportunity to get into a naval battle. If we enter their little area here that's kind of outlined. So, which doesn't make any kind of sense because it looks like we are here. And I'm not I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it was talking about doing a invasion in the politics tab. How we can do the naval invasion... But as you can see, that's grayed out. It's not an option for me. So, and it says we must have enough tonnage. It'll tell us how much tonnage it will be to invade them uh, for whatever, I guess, spot. And and that, and that uh, we, have, we must send enough shipping to actually do that invasion. I, yeah, I'm just not understanding it, I guess. So we're going to go next turn. We've been at war... We've been at war now for months, and we haven't fired a single shot. So, a task force. Uh, uh oh. Oh, wait a second. Our naval superiority led a led us close to Guantanamo Bay. The port is almost undefended. Some transports are detected, which are easy prey. Here we go. We are in a fight. We got uh, ten transports. It looks like. And we got Oakland and Baltimore going in. Let's go in and fight them. Yeah. Okay, well, apparently we don't get to. We get to just auto-resolve it. Victory. Yay. Uh, we Times one transport sank. That's we, Out of ten of them, we only got one of them? <laughs> oh, that's great. Close. Okay. Oh, here we go. Clash of the fleets. Our task force meets the enemy that is operating in the area. We are going up against a whole bunch of cruisers here with our couple of cruisers and our battleship. Hopefully, we will be victorious. Now, we have to remember, we have to keep the, our battleship evil kind of at arm's length, whereas these other three, they can kind of zoom in and attack. So let's go ahead and fight this battle. All right, let's start the battle. Here is our battleship evil. We have these green lines. These are our ranges for our different guns. And we are looking for the enemy. There is our other ships. Our other cruisers. We can click on them. See, there's... Oh, there we go. We are heading in the battle. So these ones here, I actually want to have them go this way. Go that way. They're going to start hooking around. What? Let's see. They are... We're identifying them. We can't get any information on them yet. There's a lot of shipping here. I want to give them a good broadside. We are still identifying them. I'm going to send our cruisers up this way to start engaging. We have zero accuracy. <laughs> the same. It's like it's going to be a miracle if we actually hit anything. There's our 10 inches. Oh, 
Ah, oh, so close though. Where are, you, where are you going? Oh, I, I was trying to click off the ship and I accidentally right clicked, which is how you actually turn. There's five inches. Like I said, we kind of want to keep them at arm's length. We don't want to uh, get too close to these ships. They probably do have torpedoes. So a couple of things to take note while we are looking here at the at the battle. We have our shoot shoot info over here. It tells us all everything that we need to know about shooting. We have our guns situation here. We've got angle. We can't get a good angle on this rear gun probably to to hit that ship or whatever one it's aiming at currently. It's like our Cruisers have opened up. We're gonna send them this way now. Kinda wanna get close in with the torpedo range, hit them with those five inch guns a little bit. Maybe draw a little fire away from our battleship while our battleship kinda pummels them. I'm hoping, anyway. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Staying in front of them too, they're they're limited to their bow mount guns. Okay, there we go. We got some damage on the main gun that start a fire. And they hit us uh, with a partial penetration for 46 damage. They set us on fire. They are getting close. They're almost into our two inch range, two, uh, two inch gun range. That is not good. I need to start bringing these guys over. got a little bit of flooding going on up front. Uh, we've hit them quite a few times. We have a little bit of over penetration uh, from what we have hit them with. So we're just leaving that on auto for now. Let the AI kind of take care of what shells the lob at them. You can see there we have torpedoes and there is their torpedo ring range. We want to definitely stay out of that uh, with our battleship. Which this guy is... Okay, we got a ways to go yet. We're sending some rounds at this guy here. These lines cross the top. That is uh, buoyancy is the blue and red is hit points. If I... the ability to pop smoke these guys okay we turned around for some reason why did we turn around are they avoiding torpedoes already or is the rudder damaged I'm not sure but they're all turning that's weird that's great Gosh, it'd be so nice if these ships would actually hit something. We 
can also speed up time. If we need to. And up here, I believe. I thought there was a way we could see like their speed. Stuff like that. They're it they're 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 hurting bad now. Their engines are out there on fire, they got flooding. Same with them. They got some flooding engines are out. So we're, we're, we're winning this fight so far, but they have more ships. So. Alright. We got one of them is sinking. So we'll now focus our fire on Diana. All the engines are out. They're going down. Three percent floating, two, four, three. <laughs> Still dangerous though, they're still able to fire that gun. There we go. Now, I want these guys to focus on that ship. Getting kind of in a little bit of a turning war with these other carriers. Four on three carriers, excuse me, cruisers. Four on three. Uh, ooh, that was a big hit. We got fire on board the Juno. Is that... Uh, that turret out of action it looks like it's pretty damaged. They over, we overpinned them. Right on. Now it's three on three over here. Meanwhile, the battleship Evil is battling it out with this cruiser. I'm not even Buena Ventura. I'm not sure exactly how to say that. Soon they get in the torpedo range just a little bit. Hopefully they will launch their torpedoes. Kind of hit or miss if they decide to launch or not. Oh, okay, just got fixed. Perfect. Should go straight here. Get back in that thousand, or that uh, thousand meter range. Try to launch another torpedo attack. Battleship Evil out there still raining in fire. Friendly fire is on. <laughs> I do have to be wary of that. That'd be bad. And shoot my own. Shoot my own ship with my battleship. That'd be great. Really 
turn. Not a great angle on bow for a torpedo attack, but I'll take it. Stationary target. Come on, shoot your torpedoes. Alright. Well, it is sunk regardless. Oh, we are like really close. <laughs> I don't know if any torpedoes were launched. Oh, we did hit. Oh, it's a dead torpedo. to take our battleship evil and bring him back mop up the rest of these these uh, cruisers here this ship here I can't control because he is following this one I could break him out my negligence. That's sad. Okay, Duluth. How are we doing on ammo? We got lots of ammo. Perfect. Hammer the crap out of that cruiser. Oh, that just irritates me. It's my negligence. Oh, there we go. Now I can see their fuel, their speed. Reach an individual ship. Nice. I think I just heard the torpedoes launch. Yep, there it is. Torpedo has launched. Nice. That's a good hit. They haven't seen it. They've seen it, but it's too late. Oh, the torpedo. Are you kidding me? straight. I get in a little bit closer. Nice. Hit it. Hit him in the magazine. That right there is why it's really important to have really good deck armor and Babbitt armor. Got some flooding. There we go. Good hits, good hits. Oh, right on. I wasn't even seeing that one. All right, this last one. There's the 10 inch guns from the battleship. HE coming in. Oh, misses. Come some smaller penetration rounds. Nice, there we go. Got some fire and flooding going on.
doing 7.8 knots. We're doing 18. So, even though I'm in a turn, I'm trying to kind of get close to him. I want to shoot a torpedo at him. Is still doing that whole crossing the T broadside things as much as we can. Try to get better uh, angles. We do have a high ricochet probability here. Kind of come up kind of close. Let's see if we can launch a torpedo. Good hits. Put Brooklyn up. Actually, we'll do uh, that direction. She's hurting. Oh, that hurt. Oh, no. Oh, no. That flash fire just spreads for a night. Hope the damage can control to get it under. Okay, where is Battleship? That is not okay. Oh, that was not good. Oh, we got it. Finally. We lost the Duluth there at the very end, and we lost Juno. We did win. We took out several of their ships. So, they're all cruisers, and we had a battleship. There we have the, uh, the ship stats. Go ahead and exit. There we go. We got a bunch of victory points. They got a bunch of victory points too. So there we go. Saved crew. We only got one from the Juno. We got 10 from the Duluth. Uh, we lost four transport ships there in the Caribbean. Nice. Our relationship has improved with the British Empire. So we, I see we have a convoy here again. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. They got too close to our ports. That's what's happening. Nice. Okay, we have seven transport ships. Oh, they showed up on our port. Is that what's going on here? Enemy raiders threaten one of our small convoys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Battle. Sinking. There we go. Right on. Finally caused enough damage to get him down. Unfortunately, we lost the Topeka, but we did keep all of our uh, traders, all of our merchant ships. They lost two cruisers. So we did win. 
Uh, we got quite a few victory points. I'm not exactly sure what those do for us. Uh, we lost about half as much, half the crew that they did. So here is a look at our ship's stats. Sad day that we lost uh, yet another ship. Uh, this, we are winning. The Spanish Empire government desperately asks us to sign a peace treaty. Should we accept? Right to the end. So there we go. We won. Barely. Mostly because that was kind of my screw up. So, we have our two cruisers down here close. Right, those are our two cruisers. Yeah. And we have our main fleet here. Our main fleet, though, is hurt. And I do believe... Wait, can I click on and see what we need to do? Well, we only have... Oh, we're good. We got a lot, plenty of fuel. We got plenty of ammo. Uh, evil has taken some, some damage. It's not bad. Close. This should be f perfectly fine. And where was that out of? There it is. Damage 14. Uh, is that down to 14? So we are now at war with Cuba, finally. Politics. Can we do a naval invasion? I would like to take... Cuba, and I would like to take the Caribbean away from Spain. I'd like to give Cuba its independence, and because they are seeking their independence, and we are all about that. So I'm thinking that the next couple of turns here, we're, we might go after these guys. There looks like they're coming in. They're coming into San Juan, and uh, we might go out and greet them. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, let's see here. How can I select them? Let's move. Move. There we go. I'd like to go out there and greet them. Say hello with my 10 inch guns from the battleship Evil. Uh, so, the next episode, we are going to attempt to get the Caribbean. Hopefully, I learn a little more between now and then. Let's see, we have some ships down here. What is it? Oh. In Panama. I did not know that we own Panama. That's good to know. We need to build some shipping there, uh, have some something there to help us out. I kind of wish the map showed us uh, if we had any ships stationed in these harbors so that we, we could easily see. Like, I had no idea about that. So we'll put some ships there. That's going to do it for this episode, I believe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content, and I hope you have a really good day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.